Hello everyone and welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today I am doing my part two review of the new Cure Weiss Nude Naturally collection that just came out for spring. If you missed my last video, I did discuss their flush and glow duos, which are these new highlight blush or bronzer blush combinations that are already paired perfectly for you um, for the spring in a nice, easy to use split pan design. So I'll link that down below if you want to check that out. But they did also release four new shades of a lip pencil and eight new lipsticks in a brand new formulation. So today I'm going to be breaking those down for you. I'm going to be swatching them here all on my arm today, but if you would like to see them on me, if you think we have a similar skin tone and you just like to kind of see the way the different shades work, especially because this is a predominantly nude collection, then do make sure to check out our Instagram page um, at Integrity Botanicals. That way you can catch our IGTV video where I will be swatching them all on my lips and that will be going live this weekend. So make sure that you check that out. Um, but today we're talking lip pencils and the new Nude Naturally lipstick. So I'm just going to jump right in to the lip pencils first. So the lip pencils, like I already stated, are the same old formulation. So they do still come in the beautiful red signature Cure Weiss box that I love. It feels so luxurious and beautiful. Um, and then you will receive your pencil. The pencils are really traditional. They have the color of the lip pencil on the bottom, which is a trait that I, I have always liked. And and then the beautiful Cure Weiss top. They are your traditional sharpenable wooden pencils. Um, that's just a personal preference. Um, I personally like the sharpenable pencils more and they do retail for $30 with refills of 26, which Cure Weiss works on a refill system if you're unfamiliar. Um, so once you are done with your initial purchase of the product, you can just buy a refill pan to put inside of it. With this, it would just be the pencil and then you have your same old cap. Um, so we do have four shades to share with you today. Formula wise, if you are familiar with it, it is very um, consistent with the existing lip pencils. It's a very beautiful creamy formula that you can use either to line your lips or they are comfortable enough to fill in the entirety of your lips as well. So I always like that versatility in a, uh, in a product. Um, but I'm just gonna get right into the colors here. All really beautiful shades to correspond with the eight new lipsticks, of course. So the first shade is the shade Soft. Soft is the shade I am using on my lips today. Soft is a really beautiful, just pinky beige shade. So this one is gonna work for a lot of us. Obviously, if you have a more deep complexion, it will be just a little too light, but this you can use with the peaches and the nudes in the collection, which is what I really like about this more beige tone. However, this does have a little bit more of a pink undertone. Um, next up, we have the shade Saturate, and I really, really love this shade, actually. This is going to be the most universally flattering one, and that's because it's a really gorgeous beige-toned taupe. So it has a lot more brown to it, and what I always love about brown tone lip pencils is that they really look like the shadow of your lip. So if you like to cheat the lip, especially here underneath or right here in the corners, it will allow you to do so with ease. And I always love a nice dark lip liner with a more pale lipstick just to give that sort of 90s vibe that I think is actually very flattering. Next up, we have the shade Rich, and Rich is a really beautiful reddish brown. This is going to be great for my women of color who need something a little bit more deep to pair with their nude colors, or even if you have a light skin tone, something like this, and something like this would work great for a lot of lipsticks already in your collection or some of the darker shades that you can wear more like a bold earth toned lip as opposed to a nude shade, which is really great as well. And finally, we have the shade Deep, and Deep is a really great deep dark brown. And that, again, will add a lot of contrast to your lipsticks if you want to pair it with one of the lighter shades or make the perfect companion for some of the deeper shades in the collection. And like I already said, they are very soft pencils, but not so soft that like the tip is going to be breaking off. Um, you just won't have to pull at the lips at all whatsoever, which I love. And there are existing shades in the Cure Weiss lip pencil lineup that I've already reviewed and love. So I will include that down below as well if none of those shades are really sort of piquing your interest. Now let's move on to the main event, the lipsticks, new formulation, eight 
new shades. So let's quickly discuss the packaging and then I'll go right into some of the differences um, with the other formula and um, some things to make note of with this new formula as well. So the box, again, absolutely lovely, luxurious, Curewise red box that makes you feel extra special. And the Curewise lipsticks are just the heaviest, most beautiful luxury lipsticks. They come in this gorgeous um, silver bullet with the KW on top. On the bottom, it will have the shade of the lipstick here. And these are also refillable, so you could just sort of pop this thing out and then it will allow you to put um, to put your repurchase shade in there as well, which I love. It's really easy, it's not complicated. And these will retail for $56 when you buy the original Silver Bullet. And then from then on, your refills will be 32, which is the same price of the existing lipstick formulation. Now, what makes this new formula so special? What's so different about it? Well, if you're familiar with the other formula, they're very rich, opaque, very full on lipsticks, which is beautiful. I really like that, especially with the red shades that they have in the lineup. But these ones here are a more luxurious texture that are a little bit more buildable. They're more velvety to the finish. They feel very weightless on the lips. The other ones are a little bit more noticeable, though beautiful. And I think a lot of people don't mind feeling a lipstick on your mouth. Um, but because of that, they're a little bit more of a hydrating formula. And when I say buildable, they're not at all sheer, but they do take a couple passes to sort of build up the color to full on opacity. And I will share that with you a little bit more in depth on my IGTV video. You'll be able to actually see me put on and build up these products. Um, but inside here, we do also have virgin cold pressed olive oil. That is a new ingredient addition. Um, they do have anti-aging properties. They do have something that they call the root of light inside as well, and castor seed oil, which always adds to that more moisturizing um, that more moisturizing formula. So as always with Cure Weiss, we have a beautiful array of ingredients. The texture is going to be a little bit more lightweight, buildable, velvety, like I said. Um, and then there is some ingredient differences as well, but I will put a full ingredients in the description box for you guys so you can take a look at that a little bit further. But let's just get right into the eight shades, shall we? So first up is the shade Serene. Serene looks really great with the soft lip pencil and it is a warm pink nude. Very beautiful. It has a little bit of a peachy tone to it as well. It almost looks like the top I'm wearing here. Really beautiful shade for spring. Then we have the shade Calm. Calm also looks really good with the soft lip pencil and Calm is more of a warm beigey nude. So this one's a little too pale for me, but with one of those deeper lip liners, it actually looks really nice. And then of course, paired with the gloss, it looks really beautiful as well. Um, a lot of these colors are just really good for spring. And of course, a very wearable everyday nude colorway. Then we have the shade Gracious. And Gracious is a stunning baby, baby pink. They call it their petal pink nude. And it's that very 1960s mod, very, very light shade that I think looks great on blondes or those of us who have very, very fair complexions. I think that looks really great as well. Then we have the shade Thoughtful and Thoughtful is the petal pink nude. This one is beautiful. This one is sort of similar to the first shade I shared with you, Serene, but it's a little bit more of a brighter, peachier shade. Um, so I know some people prefer that. Again, very 1960s inspired, which always reminds me of the spring. Then we have the shade Genuine, and Genuine is the shade I have on my lips here today. Probably my favorite, and that's because it's their dusty mauve nude color and this one just has a lot of purple in it it's really pretty i think that these colors are very flattering from anyone with a very pale complexion all the way up to a nice tan as well that more purple tone just is really forgiving on the lips but it definitely looks like a pink as you can see on my mouth here today it just has a little bit of that purple kiss to it that makes it a little bit different than something you may already have and it does swatch a little bit lighter than it looks here in the bullet but I did pair it with the soft lip pencil today to sort of make it a more beigey pink nude 
Next up, we have the shade Sincere. And Sincere, I've been wearing this one quite a bit as well. Um, this is a good mauve nude. Um, so this has a lot more brown to it than something like the last one. But still, really wearable, that very Kylie Jenner, Velvet Teddy sort of shade. It's going to be more of a mid-tone on someone that has my complexion, but would make a beautiful nude on someone with a deeper complexion. Then we have the shade Effortless, and Effortless is a really beautiful cinnamon mocha nude. And this is a very 90s lip color if you have a more, um, if you have a more light complexion like myself. It's a really pretty terracotta sort of shade, has quite a bit of pink, that's that kind of cinnamon tone pulling through. And on someone with a deep complexion, this would just look drop dead, but I love the versatility of being able to wear it, you know, even with someone at my complexion, and it doesn't look too brown or too red. Finally, we have the shade Ingenious, and Ingenious is a cool chocolate brown. Really pretty. Though it has a lot of bronze, but there is still a little kiss of pink. It's very similar to the Effortless shade. It's just a little bit darker. So if you need something just a little bit darker, a little bit more plum tone for your skin tone, that would be a great one. All right, so that is all eight of the new lipstick shades. I'm gonna put all of the lip liner pairings down below, actually. Um, so all of the new pencils go great with the new lipstick line, which I love that they sort of took that guesswork out of it here for you. So I'm gonna put that information down below on sort of what goes with what because I wanted to make the video speed it up a little bit because I had a lot to go through here today. Um, but I really hope that you found this video helpful. Again, make sure you check out our um, Instagram because I will be uh, posting an IGTV where I swatch all of these on myself instead of just my arm. But in the meantime, I am going to have swatch photos in the description box down below for you, full ingredients list as well, and direct links to these products so you could shop them right here, right now. If you want more of the Cure Weiss Nude Naturally collection, I did review the Flush and Glow duos. I'm going to include that down below as well. Um, but if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you want a recommendation for you, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We are definitely here to help and I am always in the comment section interacting with you guys so do not hesitate to ask. But thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I upload here twice weekly and I do not want you guys to miss it. Um, do I need to do a tutorial using the new Cure Weiss Nude Naturally collection? Definitely let me know. Um, but in the meantime subscribe so you don't miss anything from me and I will catch you all in my next one. Bye!